Guys, we just uh, come back from um, the uh, what's it called, the SOS Village, uh, which uh, the FA and Spurs actually sponsor. What was it like to do something like that today? An experience. You could say that. You know, a few years ago we came up with, with Tottenham, but we didn't get to go to the, the houses which, you say, the FA and, and Tottenham sponsor. Today we finally did, and you know, it was, it was a good experience. It's nice to see a charity working, isn't it? Well, the, the, the premise of it is that there's a foster mother and eight children in a house. That's the way it works, isn't it? Yeah, I think I think the key to it is the the success of it is the, the structure of like you say how it's put together, and and it's in a normal residential street with a typical kind of bungalow stroke house with as normal a family environment as you can get, I suppose, for these children. So you know, it was a fantastic uh, example of, of of how you can put that together. You both seem to enjoy it. You both bonded. You actually sponsored one of the kids, Aubrey. The magical moment was he turns up in a Rooney shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne's going to love that, isn't he, <laughs> when he sees that. Uh, but you bonded with him. He seemed like a nice kid. Yeah, every every Tottenham player sponsored a child there. Um, you know, Luckily enough for me today, I got to meet Aubrey. I've seen pictures over the last year. Uh, still no turning his head, is he? He's still got a Man United shirt on. He managed to get a Spurs shirt on. I thought he might have had a Spurs yeah. shirt on, but... Yeah. No, it was, as I say, fantastic to me. He was, he was a great little lad, and as I say, hopefully we can get many more people to sponsor children like like we have. He seems to be pretty handy at football as well, didn't he? Scouting for yeah, Harry. He's, uh, he's decent, wasn't he? He's headed. Very good, yeah. He's, um, he's certainly keep, worth keeping an eye on. Uh, and is it true that Spurs fans, when they get their fines, it goes to charities like this? It is, yeah. I think a few years ago, uh, you know, if the lads are late, uh, the fines went straight into a, to a big pot, and as I say, it's great that the Tottenham put it to, to a great, uh, so, great cause. So the worse the Spurs players do, the better it's for the world. <laughs> it's something like that, the more, yeah. More disciplined you are. If the players come down and see that, they won't mind getting fined so much. I tell you, because yeah. to see uh, to see what we we can achieve from from the lads being late from, or whatever it may be, yeah. um, it's going to a good cause. And you bonded with that little kid, didn't you? He was that little. Yeah, boy. just. Didn't want to let go once it just shows you give them a little bit of attention and interaction and they just you know they love it so no it was a really rewarding experience and the press seem to enjoy it as well they yeah. seem that they really enjoy getting out and about yeah. and doing something a bit different do you enjoy doing stuff for the press maybe something like that it opens their eyes for for everyone not just ourselves um, you know they can can take things on board what they've seen and as i say we we can hopefully get as many people to to do what FA on, on top of doing and, and also uh, the players as individuals. They were definitely more chilled out press. I think they, they were a bit more relaxed and uh, probably enjoyed it a bit more than your standard uh, yeah. press conference in a, in a marquee with a load of uh, microphones. And Still getting a football question though. Are you yeah. going to play? Are you going to play? Are you going to play? That'll uh, never change. All right. Well, like, nice little distraction though, wasn't it? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Lovely. Lovely. Cheers. Thank you.